Welcome to the New Grounds Podcast. Today's episode hosted by Zinzinix and Psycho Goldfish. Welcome everyone to the New Grounds Podcast. I'm your host, Zin Tenix. Alongside me, I have Psycho Goldfish hosting as well. Stop. Oh. Stop. And then you won't believe this, man. All these video games out on New Grounds. And then there's even one that's called Dead Estate. I don't know if you've seen it. I don't know if you heard about it. I don't know if you shot someone in the face while playing it, but we have four of the creators from it. They're a team of collaborators. There's eight in total who made it. I don't know why four other ones couldn't make it on here. Probably because we wouldn't be able to understand them as they talked over <laughs> each other. So we left it to just four, yeah, and I feel bad for everyone else who got left out. Uh, we can start off the list with Milk Bar Jack. How are you doing, Milk Bar Jack? I'm doing awesome. I'm, I'm, I'm really happy to be here. First podcast I've ever been on. <laughs> yes! Yeah! Yeah! Awesome. yeah. We popping that cherry! Yeah. Woo! Yeah. That's not and we're popping right. bottles. We're going to toast to the success of Dead Estate because oh, people cheers. people really enjoy that. Next on the list, we have Stratemeyer. Stratemeyer, how are you doing, man? I'm good. It's 3 a.m. in the night. In the early, in the early morning. Uh, I've, been, <laughs> I've been working all day. <laughs> Quick, top, top five uh, favorite things about Dead Estate. Go. <laughs> For me? Yeah, oh, never mind. Uh, right, we're going to move on. <laughs> number one, Dead Estate. Next on the list, cheers, we cheers, have man. we actually have in studio right now, off the toilet, Milky Ace. Thank oh you, Milky God, Ace. That's me. <laughs> Fresh that's off the toilet. Yeah, I'm sorry. Fresh. Yeah. Well, I, well, I mean, I could have just done the podcast from the bathroom, but I don't know if you'd be able to hear me over... Uh... It's over smelling here. Your farts. Yeah. Not possible. And then, f- last but not least, in this clusterfuck, we have Major, Major Ace. No, Major Wipeout. God damn it! I'm gonna have to edit that. Major Wipeout. Thank you for hey, coming to the podcast. Hey, wow, well, that's me. Introduced last, and you got my name wrong. Let's go. I did. I'm sorry. <laughs> More like oh Major God, Fail. Oh, oh, Major, I fucking hate know. myself. All right, I'm well, sorry. that's. <laughs> That was all part of the plan, actually. That way, now we have three left. <laughs> Surprise, idiot. <laughs> just this is gonna be like an episode of uh, The Weakest Link. I'm just gonna try to get you guys to quit one by one until we got like <laughs> at least two people. That way, it's more manageable. Right and now, tonight's right? biggest door. loser. So, let's let's discuss why we're even here in the first place, okay? Dead Estate, it's a huge collaboration effort. I mean, eight people worked on it i saw jack actually in the new grounds podcast server and he was like updating us on whips constantly started off with like an isometric room and etc like jack where did the idea for dead estate even come from uh so like back in august like mid late august i wanted to participate in a game jam before uh i started college um so i made this little prototype of just like a stupid little isometric room with a little ball character you could move around and and he could jump uh and then uh the time for the game jam passed and i was too busy to actually participate in and so i just had this prototype um and then like mid-september i decided like i I guess we could do something for halloween with this and uh i uh added everybody in our um in our uh, group chat or dev chat whatever um I said, yeah, let, let's do it. Let's do a Halloween thing with this. And, uh, yeah, I just got the ball rolling from there. So what comes first is the prototype. So you have this, you have this kind of rough sketch of a video game and then you showed it to your team. What happens next after that? Stratemeyer's like, I, I'm going to do art for it. We have a theme. This is going to happen for <laughs> October. It's going to be Halloween ish. Like what happened there? Art uh, comes next, I'm guessing. Well, yeah, we already kind of have, like, everybody divided up into, like, uh, what they're supposed to do. Because um, mm-hmm. I'm the only programmer and Major's the only uh, musician. And then everybody else is a, is an artist. Assets. So. No, assets and art, yeah. Yeah, except it. for Aiko. Exactly. She, uh, Aiko is okay. an artist, but she has voice acts for her stuff. But, uh, yeah, so since, since we have, like, I, I can't do math, I'm sorry, six artists? That sounds right. Five artists now, yeah. Um, it, it's pretty easy to just, like, split everybody up into what they're supposed to do. Especially because, like, we've been making games for a while, so 
like I've always had Ace, like designing characters, uh, and uh, Grobel. Yeah, well, okay, I I need to clear this up. I call Gratmire Grobels. Uh, <laughs> Grobels? Yeah, um, yeah it's my, it's my little yeah, so nickname. I, if I if I do that on the podcast, then you know who I'm talking about. So uh, <laughs> Stratemeyer is a he's more of a recent addition. Uh, he he designs characters too, but he also does like a bunch of sprite art. For them. Yeah, he's um, on OG. He's been on since the start, and he's always he started like, with four of us, and now there's eight. No, no, five Damn. Of us. Um, was there five of us? Kinda... I thought it was four. Yeah, but like loudspeakers always done sprite work for enemies and stuff, so we just had to yeah. do that. Yeah, what's surprising about having like a big we have a big team, but it doesn't really feel overwhelming. We're all a little overwhelmed with what we have to do just the right amount. So it's yeah. but it's not it's not overwhelming to the point of like we, we can't manage who does what work because I don't know. We, we, basically, basically it, everybody knows what they're supposed to do instead of except having, except for yeah. a major and Jack because they're the only ones who do. We're the, the art. only I'm, ones I'm, who do I'm what speak- we do, but that's okay. <laughs> I'm, yeah. I'm speaking from a, uh, an art perspective, but uh, you guys are very unfortunate. Yeah, the artists get to split it up plenty. Jack does all of the coding, and then I <laughs> yeah. procrastinate I for a month and then panic in like a week and get something I, I, done. <laughs> I do some of the art too. I do I do all the coding yes. and a little bit of the art. You, you do the placeholder. And, and the the gun the gun uh you did the gun yeah. stuff yeah i, I did, yeah, all you the did the gun game. stuff you did the yeah. gun stuff you did it well you I did it well that. yeah so what what can who did the enemies in dead estate like how do you guys split up that kind of work who wants to normally work on what jack are you the are you literally the mediator for all this or stratemeyer did you get to pick and milky ace you're you're you said you're normally an og so you <laughs> Like, do you get first picks? Like, where's the, well, what's the food chain in this group? Especially five artists. Like, geez. Uh, like, Ace draws what? the girls. Yeah, I just, I draw, I draw the, I draw the women. That's yeah. all I'm good for. Ace draws no. all of the, Ace draws all of the, I add the, the, I add the becomes, titty factor and then they tell me to leave and I'm like, okay. No, exactly. We, we're like, okay, we need a good thumbnail that's going to get a lot of clicks. Ace, draw something hot. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> It's like, it's like uh, a, I'm gonna do the thumbnail for this, so yeah. I guess we can. Uh, but, but but like the 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 like the what are they called? The, the shop bait. Art, you know? Yeah, the shop. Yeah, yeah. The witch. Yeah, it's true. All the shop stuff. More like bitch. Whoa. Whoa. Hey. Oh, okay. Sorry. Sorry, sorry. So Jack shot you guys the idea. You guys loved it. You guys worked on it. Five artists basically nod at it. Major, you you made the music for it. Where does the inspiration from the music come from? Is it purely from Mad Halloween? Man. So generally my process is uh we decide sort of on the theme of the levels themselves. Um and then Jack gives me the general idea of the mood we want it to have, and then he gives me a couple references. Um of just songs that he thinks would kind of fit the tone. And then I, I start with that as a base and then just kind of brainstorm it from there. So you guys all compliment each other in, in your own little ways. Like you come with this, this big theme and that's how that, that it's just yeah, like, it's a really collaborative effort. You know, yeah, we yeah. all kind of feedback off of each other and, yeah. and see how it progresses from there. <laughs> what was the, what was the timeline for, for dead estate? You said you, you had the prototype in August and then oh, yeah. in what two months you like turned around and made something out of it or. Oh. Yeah. yeah, no, I started it in August, and it was just kind of like a little solo thing for me up until like mid, yeah, like mid or late September or something like that. Um, yeah. So I, I, I was like programming most of it just uh, by myself, and I had a bunch of placeholder art and music in the game uh, up until probably the end of September, start of uh, yeah. October. Um, and then, uh, yeah, all these guys um, managed to get all their stuff done in like one month. Yeah, um, wow, which is pretty crazy. I, I think because the, of the success of Bonkers and just the, the, fact, the, the fact that I don't know, we we were able to pull that off in, in two days. Yeah, we did about like ninety nine percent of Bonkers in a weekend. So. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, so, well, yeah, because Bonkers was originally for a forty eight hour game jam, so it's yeah, like yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Are, is, are there any uh, stressful moments in making a game? Because Jack, it seems like like you might have most of the say, but you're working with seven other people. So do you oh, have conflicting yeah. ideas at times? And, and has like have you all wanted to make a game originally? Is that is that what everyone here has always wanted to make? Like Milky, you've always wanted to make art for video games. Stratemeyer, I didn't even know you made art for video games until until <laughs> Dead of State was coming yeah, that's out. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I didn't think I originally wanted to make art for video games. It was just kind of like, 
Jack was working, or Jack and Major were working with some other guy for a while, and then <laughs> uh, things didn't work out with that. So uh, then we kind of split off into our own group, then we rebranded as Milk Bar Lads, and now uh, it was like the five of us for a while, and then we had uh, Strato, Strato Meyer join us, <laughs> and then... Uh, Ico. Yeah, Ico, Ico, yeah, Ico joined for Bonkers to do like um voice uh, to do voice acting, and then Spicy joined. So uh, why why did you join them, Stratomire? I I am honestly curious. You just wanted to work on something like you. I, I never talked to Jack you. Is... We met yeah. and we became BFFs. Yes. Um, I remember I, talking I, to Stratomire like a month ago, and he's like, "I'm so busy." He's like, "He's like, I'm booked for like an entire month," and I'm like, "Why are you why are you putting more work on yourself, man?" <laughs> That's true. Uh, I think Jack was just like, hey, "Hey, do you want to help?" Yeah, I think I think I just asked you if you wanted to work on something, <laughs> and you said, yeah, "Yeah." I was like, yeah, yeah I, I I don't know. I've always wanted to work on a game. It's interesting the way that it kind of snowballs because earlier on, like we were just friends in a friend group messing around, having fun with it. And then, you know, as it goes, it's just like, hey, we're working on this thing. Do you want to help? And then it just kind of grew from there. All right. So Jack basically scouted straight of mine was like, hey, dude, come come join our, our fun little club. Not, and then- not even scouted. It's more of just like uh, we were friends already. We, we became friends through our love of, of uh, Kanye. <laughs> yeah, Kanye and Resident Evil. Yeah. <laughs> Kanye and Resident Evil uh, brought us together, and then and then uh, I don't know. I did, he found out I did art, I guess. Kanye <laughs> brings us all together. Yeah, Con- yeah. Kanye is a he is a collaborator. Um, guys, uh, uh, Jack, <laughs> Jack, ex- discuss with me about the reception from the audience that you've been getting from Dead Estate. Has it been really positive? I know a lot of people wanted like a couple fixes, or they probably found some bugs. I know personally for me, I found a few bugs in the beginning, but I I know it's a labor of love. So you worked a few of them out already. So discuss uh, with me the audience uh, reception. Uh- I'm pretty happy with it. I mean, this is probably the most attention uh, any of our games has ever gotten, like, anywhere. I, I don't know. I, I mean, there hasn't been too much, like, negative uh, reception to it. And I honestly, I kind of expected there to be a lot more when I first released it, because uh, I did know there were, like, game-breaking bugs in the game, but I, I just didn't know how to fix them, and I wanted to put it out. So I figured, hey, I'll put the game up uh, now, and... uh yeah, I know there's uh, these horrible bugs in it, but I'll just fix them uh, when I when I figure it out. And you know, people did complain a little bit about it, but they're like, all of those complaints were uh, what's it like addendum? I don't I don't know. I don't speak um, English very well, but uh, they all all the complaints also came with like, yeah, this game is like really cool and stuff. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know. I, I'm pretty. I was pretty satisfied with the uh, response. Uh, I, I think it came with uh, they came with five stars, so you know. Yeah, yeah, people were like, yeah, this game is broken and it sucks, but they rated it five stars anyway, so, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I would say, like, the, the reception was overwhelmingly positive, but with an asterisk. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> which is, which is uh, justified anyway. Which is, like, yeah. I love your game, it's great, but, like, it sucks. <laughs> yeah. I mean, all, all the I games... Tell them, uh, a, lot of, a lot of the bugs can be fixed by just not doing that particular thing you're... <laughs> literally we just message him hey listen you're playing it wrong and I, well, most of the game breaking stuff has, has fixed now the, the only thing i can think of that's still like game breaking is sometimes they'll get like stuck in the uh the shop menu if you jump on top of the uh the little witch character yeah but uh yeah just, uh, just listeners, don't... don't don't jump on the witch don't jump like on the I, witch. I know i know yeah. the temptation is there but please <laughs> please do not jump in the witch yeah why don't we all just jump on the witch why don't we all just break well, the game and then message Jack about it to fix it, even though he's already moving on to the next thing? <laughs> oh no, not anymore. I was gonna, and I still want to, but uh, not not uh, those, those plans uh, have been moved. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. You, you're telling me you're gonna you're gonna upgrade Dead Estate? You're gonna focus on working on that and branching out with Dead Estate, or yeah, uh, I, I already yeah. have this, uh, but uh. Um, in the little so uh, group chat we had before this, but uh, I, I did get permission from uh, from our publisher fella to uh, to talk about it a little. So uh, publisher, yeah. you are the publisher fella. Oh no, no, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not the publisher fella. No, we, we may have, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I can't say anything's yeah, like uh, like completely certain yet, but uh, we we were contacted by a publisher, and um, 
he was like, yeah, expand the game a bit. Uh, we can put it on Steam. <laughs> awesome. Are you, fu- uh, are you guys fucking serious right now? Yeah. Uh, no, I'm com- I'm lying in hundred percent. No, there's there's some stuff brewing behind the scenes where there's this might actually be like a bigger yeah. thing that it could turn into. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so by yeah, by adding the game a bit, maybe a little more than a bit. Ooh. 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 <laughs> but yeah, so like, what uh, you're saying is is you can jump on the witch soon, is what you're saying. Yeah, oh, yeah. you will be able to. Yeah, and then I her can't. head will fall up your asshole, and then I can't over. say like anything's a hundred percent certain yet, but uh, you know that might be happening. So <laughs> I think yeah, that's uh, what actually, actually most. I, when you jump think, on the witch, you might be able to switch into VR and grab her boobies. Oh my! Yeah, yeah right. I never said. Sure. Don't don't get my hopes up. I'm sorry. I, think, I think that's the best thing about working on a, a team, though, is that you have all these ideas. Whereas if if you want to expand on the game, you have seven different people you can go to that, that can think of ideas to go with. And the horizon is like really large for oh, yeah. this. You made this in two months. You know what I mean? What if you get an actual like three more months into it, or I don't know how long you want to work on it. Particularly yeah. you get a Kickstarter with this kind of prototype. People are in love with the art already and the concept. So the yeah. fact that you've been reached out by a publisher makes a lot of sense. Now, do they find your game via Newgrounds or, or like where where did all the popularity come from? Uh, here, here's the thing: is I actually um I I talked to Tom Pope like a little bit about uh um about publishing because uh I I don't know I've I've only been contacted by a publisher once before and that didn't turn out very well. Um, yeah. I won't say who it was, but uh. <laughs> They they ghosted up. So I I talked to Tom Culp a little bit about it, and uh, I I told Tom the name of the guy, and he was like, "Oh yeah, he's a he's a Newgrounds guy. He, he seems cool." <laughs> so yeah, I, I I if I had to guess, I would say they found it through Newgrounds. Holy shit! So you can actually get found by publishers through Newgrounds. I noticed out of views, yeah. like games get the most views on on Newgrounds compared to art, and then even animation. So games are still popping right now, and yeah, yeah it is. It's crazy. I, I'm pretty sure the game has more views on uh, Newgrounds than uh, Itch.io. So that's something I actually want to talk about. Um, like, okay, so your experience is mm. coming up. So you guys potentially have a publishing deal, and you've been doing like games for quite a while. So what I want to get into is like uh, your growth from you know zero to where you are now, just so other upcoming. Um, game developers might you know get a little inspiration from you guys you've got quite a few games on itch quite a few on Newgrounds. How how's your experience been um starting with itch like you guys did a lot of game jam stuff correct and that's kind of how oh, you, yeah. you built your base uh how do, how do you find that like just getting in in the game jam scene has helped you explode um creatively and just making you get stuff done yeah, game jams are really nice because it's like you can just make something in a weekend and then like you don't have to worry about it afterwards if you don't want to. So we yeah. did a was starting out. <laughs> we started with doing like 48 hour game jams. So we were making games in like 48 hours and like looking back on it with like how much work I did in 48 hours, I don't know how I was doing that or like how any of us were doing that. Because like yeah. we, then we started doing week long game jams and even then I was struggling. <laughs> So yeah, I think I think just like doing a lot of those game jams like consecutively uh kind of helped us build like a little um fan base, I guess. Not really fan base, just like, you know, just a little bit of popularity. Um and uh then we uh tried to do like a full project last year and we released a demo for it and that did really well actually, but um we uh ended up not finishing the uh, the full project uh, called Holy Smokes. And then uh yeah, this year you know, because all of last year we only had uh, five people in the group. And this year we started adding on, like, uh, well, Stratomire was the first edition, so we had, like, six people. Uh, and then Ico joined right when we were going to do another game jam, because we actually hadn't done one in a while. And that game, uh, for that jam, turned out to be bonkers. So uh, um, that did really well, too. And that was the... Uh, it wasn't the first thing we had put up on Newgrounds, um, but it was the first thing, uh, like, we put up in a year. And uh, that did really well on Newgrounds. Uh, like, it got a front page and everything, which I really wasn't expecting at all because it was like a 48-hour thing. Yeah, I remember Tom, like, linking me to that directly. He said, you got to check this out. It was pretty cool. Oh, yeah. yeah. It was it was so crazy to see, like, a direct endorsement from Tom Fulp where it's like, wait a second. Yeah. Are you... I, I actually... I'm pretty sure when 
I don't know if it was Jack who sent me that, but when I got the initial message, it was like, hey, Tom felt like directly endorsed. I think it's like, you're pranking me right now. This isn't real. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> Tom Fulp? You're joking. The Tom Fulp is supporting us right now. I think we made a good game, guys. It took two days to make it. <laughs> yeah, it was, it, it really was crazy. It was well, like there's, there's always there's this surreal moment of like, oh, man. We should have tried more if we were going to get attention. <laughs> yeah. I, it, was, it was like two days and like a week, like like a week afterwards, where I just um, added in like controller support and stuff like that. I didn't like add in like any content to the game. All I did was add controller support, and I fixed a few yeah. bugs and then put it on new grounds. I, I do remember uh, we put it on new grounds on the same day the results from the game jam got announced, and uh, I remember. Like, every game jam we've participated in, we rank, like, fifth place or higher or something like that, you know, which is good. And we got the results back on uh, on uh, Bonkers, and we got, like, tenth place, which, you know, isn't bad, so it sounds, like, petty of me to say this, but I felt, like, I felt really disappointed about that. Yeah. And I put it on new ground. Yeah, I, yeah I was like, oh, this sucks. My, I, I don't want to work on games ever again. <laughs> <laughs> and then I, I was like, oh, well, I already, I already made this whole, uh, like, post-jam version, so I guess I'll put it on Newgrounds, and then, like, two seconds later, Tom Polk, like, retweeted it in front of yeah, no, and No, and he, he commented, like, it was Tom, and then Dave, and then the one that really yeah. blew our minds was Jeff. Yeah. Yeah. Like, Johnny Utah. Uh, when, we, when we saw Johnny Utah, we were like, what? <laughs> yeah, so it, 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 like, it's like well, emotions because it's just I, I was such like, a surreal experience seeing like all of these names that like years ago, you know, you see content from them and it's like, oh god, like I look up to these people, you know, like these are the the creators that I almost grew up with. So it's like yeah. just like, crazy to see all this, you know, good good press coming from them. Yeah, yeah senior idols idolize you. That's Im- that's impressive. Major, you're, major, you're the only you're the only musician on it. I just want to say on Dead Estate, your music was phenomenal. Bonkers, the music no, was it, great it too. Thank I, you. I, I appreciate that. I really wish I had procrastinated less. It would have been a lot less stressful. Uh, yeah. I have a really <laughs> bad habit. The rest, the rest of the team can confirm this. Every time someone praises how the music turns out, I always feel awful about it because it's like, oh, come on, man. Don't like this. I mean, in like three days. <laughs> every single, every single time. Jack gives me the list. I spent like a week and a half doing nothing. And then like, because here's the thing. All of our previous experience with the game jams and everything like that, it taught me the art of the crunch. I need to be able to come up with an idea and knock it out really quickly. Not because, like, you know, I don't want it to be rushed or anything. I want to make something I can be proud of. But my creative process, it's so hard to force something out if I don't have a good idea yet. So once I figure out, you know, the direction that I want to take things, I got to be able to knock it out. And that just seems to be always what happens. So you like the stress. You like, oh, I got three fucking days. Uh, uh, I've had a week and a half. I'm, I'm just going to I'm just going to buckle down like right now. Whatever. I, I don't I don't know if I like the stress. But it's, I mean, it certainly gets results from me because that's what happens every single time. Yeah, no, I, I'm absolutely the same way. Like, yeah, no. With, um, yeah. With Kevo, Kev- was like that. For the Rocket, my uh, Rocket Talk, it's like that. Elon Musk thing was like that. And and if you notice, I haven't really done anything after that because it wasn't for a jam that had a deadline. <laughs> I was going to say, yeah, when no. I was doing games back in the day, um, I didn't really get involved in like the game jam scene was still pretty new. So there wasn't a whole lot to begin with, but I always found that, you know, I would have all these great ideas, but I would just get paralyzed because I'd want to make them so big and the scope would get so out of control. Do you yeah. guys find with the yeah. game jam that keeps you from doing that and you just get shit done because there is scope? Yeah. yeah stress yeah, is like the best motivator. I think uh, I'm sorry. I talked over you. Major. No, you're, you're good, man. It just, it, it, it helps you be focused because it's like, all right, we have this time limit. We have this idea. Let's see what we can do with this. And it's, it's structured in such a way that it allows you to be a lot more focused. Yeah. So a lot of people have problem with crunch, but like if it's, if it's voluntary crunch like this, you know, it's, it's creatively invigorating. I find it's like how homework deadline. <laughs> yeah. My crunch is involuntary. Like you said before, you know, when, when you have so much to do, um, it can be really paralyzing because like, you know, he'll give me the list. And I remember, uh, when we first started work on dead estate and cause we have like, you know, a uh, 
a development document and everything that has all of our uh, stuff that we need to get done. And he gives me the list. He's like, all right, I need all these tracks for this, 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 and this. And I was like, you know, this is coming out in a month, right? You want me to do all that? But then, you know, push comes to shove. And I did half of the soundtrack in like the two days prior to release. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, <man. laughs> like I was literally just, I'll, I'll have like entire days and weeks of nothing and just like jotting down little ideas and stuff like that. And then I'm just up all night, like two days in a row and it's done. And apparently people like it, so I'm doing something right, but I'm trying to get better at that because it's not healthy. Yeah, no, that's I, not I'm, healthy. Really, I'm, I'm really abusive to Major. <laughs> he hits me. Please help me. Yeah, yeah he does. He does. It's, it's, I remember um, when you were first making that doc and there's like a, a shit ton of assets and everything that, that we all had to make. But like, um, I don't know, ever, going back to Bonkers, like the fact that we, I don't know, did that complete game of that quality i think is real good um yeah. in two days i was like yeah we, I, we, I, we can fucking do that in a week man i, I remember yeah. because um jack was even was worried it's like i don't think we can do this i was like <laughs> dude, fucking, dude, fucking bonkers in two days dude we, we do this all this shit in a week if we if we don't sleep and and eat. <laughs> but yeah, but, I, but I, we have a month so that's even more time so so i was like I, yeah i'm I made the whole doc myself, and, I, and then, like, two weeks into it, I was like, I don't think we're going to finish it, guys. And then we, we mm -hmm. did, but... <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, Jack, you're the you're basically the manager. You give everyone a list, I need all this done, and then just get it to me by this deadline, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, basically. And, and, but, and the solo solo programmer. Like, he, he does all the shit that we don't understand. Yeah, right. I also... The life. I also Coach. ghost wrote all the music for Major, but don't tell anyone that. Yeah. Um. <laughs> no, okay, but all joking aside, I actually do always feel bad about being, like, the last one to finish his shit. Like, every single time, this happens with every game, everyone else is done with all of their stuff, and they're like, all right, Major, we need this, this, and this done. And I was like, I know, give me a minute. So it's hard, though, when you're designing audio, because it almost always comes last, because audio is like the, the frosting on the, the cake, you know? It's, well, there's it just, emphasizes there's, everything, so it Exactly, comes last. and, you know, the biggest part of my process is I try to work with them as it's developing so that we can establish the mood in tandem. Um, I don't really like, you know, being given, like, a finished level and be like, all right, make something that matches that. Sometimes that can work, but I, I feel like I, I make my best stuff when you know, it's sort of co-created as the level's mood is being established. And also, the other thing is, like, the music kind of does have to go in last because um, uh, with Game Maker, which is, you know, the engine uh, I use to you know, program the whole thing, uh, audio files, when you put them in the project, it, it makes it take forever to compile. Like, so, so if I want to test the game and there's no audio in it like whatsoever. Rendering, like rendering, it, it, it takes a long time. Yeah, like yeah kind of. Yeah, basically the same thing. So, yeah, if, if there's no audio files in a game and I test it, that takes, like, a few seconds to compile and run. But then uh, when Major gives me all his tracks and I put them in the game, that those few seconds, like, they go up to, like, two minutes. So I have to sit there and wait for it to build for, like, two to three minutes. Yeah, um, audio files are beefy. Yeah, so they, it kind of they kind of have to go in towards yeah. the end because otherwise all the testing is going to take forever, so... So Major's lucky he gets to procrastinate for as long as he does. He literally no, has the, the one job where he's allowed to wait it, wait until the end. I promise you it is not on purpose. Oh, God. Are we going to talk <laughs> yeah, I, about I, that? I, I know no. he's not doing it on purpose, but it all works okay. out. Yeah. It, it, it got mentioned in chat, so I do have to bring this up. The gummy bear song in the main menu. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so so Jack mentioned earlier the uh, all of the placeholder music. That yeah, leads yeah. to a lot of really good in-jokes later on. So during development, the title theme was the gummy yeah. bear song. <laughs> and I, de I decided, uh, just because it kept getting drilled into our head every time we tested it, I would sneak the melody of the Gummy Bear song into the, the title theme for the final game. And it's in there if you listen for it. I made sure it was audible. <laughs> uh, the other thing was... Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, for when uh, when Chunks breaks in and chases you, the placeholder song for there was the old Pedal Bear song. You're the I love oh, I Jesus. love little girl. <laughs> <laughs> that's in that's in the chase theme. I put that in yeah, there too. 
So if you listen and for before, it, those, two, those finished, little Easter uh, eggs. Before I finished uh, Chunks' animation, it was just a big picture PNG of like Chris Redfield smiling with face. <laughs> yeah, I forgot about this. The first time I was testing the game, because I, I didn't know any of this was going to happen, I, I lost my mind. The moment Chunks broke in, it was that meme of Chris Redfield's face where it's like <laughs> glowing red with his eyes and the Paddle Bear song came on and I, I near shit my pants. It was that. <laughs> Oh god! Yeah, you guys yeah. really are just friends, like hanging out on a production team. Oh yeah, I'm a yeah. I'm a comedic master. We've been we've known each other for oh god, like five six years now. We've oh known yeah, each other. I, I've it's been crazy. I've known, Ma- I've known Major and Gal for uh, yeah, like six years. I've known Ace for three years. Stratemeyer, I've known. I've known Stratemeyer for like seven <laughs> for like seven months. Yeah. Uh, I think no, we were like born next to each other. Actually, it's, it's they're funny. actually twins. We were, were so born afraid next to each, each other. We're <laughs> attached we, to the head. Yeah, we were born next to each other, but it's weird because his his parents are Filipino and mine are white. So I I don't mm-hmm. I, I'm like I, I, don't know, I don't know how they made that mix up. You ever see Parent Trap? It's mix like that. Up, I think. Yeah. Wait, mm-hmm. Shadow, yes, I thought you were Filipino. He is, but uh, uh, I I am, I am. But uh, so his you, parents you are, I think there was a mix one in the in the crib. Yeah, they they took yeah. home the wrong babies. So you know, I got <laughs> no, his parents. Oh yeah, before we get before we get too far off from it, the other thing, and I, I didn't do this for Dead Estate. I, I couldn't think of a place to put it. But if it's been a long time since I've given an update on a track, they'll be like, hey, can we have an update on how things are going? And I literally just sneak the first couple notes of Megalovania into it and and send him that as just like a fuck you, let me work. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I, I was adding you like every few hours towards the end of it, like, hey. Which, I mean, understandable, again, we were really, I I don't want to, like, (laughs) underemphasize this. We didn't have the whole soundtrack in the game until, like, an hour before release. So An hour? I have a problem. Oh, yeah, yeah, something like that. Are you going to stick to these habits, Major? Like, I'm not, like I said, I'm, I'm... I'm working out a system for for our future projects to to yeah, figure no, out. Yeah, no, we'll we'll have a lot more time for. Yeah, the, the other problem is like my job is really inconsistent with like how often I have to work. So you know, I I it's hard to plan around. Understandable, Jack. Are you, you are, are you the one who um who comes up with these ideas for these games? Is it originally always you starting out? Because Milk Bar Lads, you guys have what three games under your belt, or is it even more than that that I'm oh, yeah. not aware of? Oh, we like have nine. a lot more. We got nine, um, yeah. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, 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 most of them aren't on Newgrounds because uh, we only started putting them on Newgrounds like last year. Yeah, one year. of them's on a site that Jack owns. Jack oh, yeah. Owns. <laughs> yeah. You're competing with Newgrounds? If you go to pumpcomeronline.com. <laughs> That's not real. That's not real. I Pump thought we were done real. with this. It is very real, but uh, I'm not going to talk about it. <laughs> you go to, uh, go to www. Dot chumbo it, dot zone. I, I thought it was gonna give me a virus. I'm like, I'm not going there. They're, they're fucking with me. Oh yeah. So uh, before we go too far off topic, uh, Jack Nanagon when? I'm, I'm sorry, I just pulled up Pump Cumber again. But uh, okay, Nanagon. <laughs> Nanagon is um, it's this old, really old project that uh, I was working on, basically like before this team was even formed. Where um I, I was really into this uh um like garage psych rock band called uh, King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard at the time, <laughs> okay. and uh, they have an album called Nonagon Infinity. Oh man, my <laughs> my friends are gonna fucking shit all over me for saying this. Oh, oh, it's no. okay though. Um, but uh, <laughs> I I made like a little game uh, uh where uh each uh track on the album is like one level in the game. Yeah, so it was just a game based off the album, and it was turning out pretty good, um, I, I, I think. But uh, at some point, I just kind of like lost motivation in working on it and uh, dropped it after I had released a little demo for it. And uh, how, how long ago was this? Uh, this was like three years ago, I think. Um, was, was that the I game probably- that came out? Uh, or didn't it come out the same day as like Baldi's Basics? <laughs> yeah, it did, and it got steamrolled. But uh, um, oh yeah, but what's wild? Yeah, so- you're better. Wait, wait, I'm, I'm not. I'm not done with this yet. Um, <laughs> so uh, I, I released it. I released a demo for it, and then like six months later, I released another demo for it. And after that, I was just like, I, I really don't want to work on this anymore. Wow. And then Vinny so played it. 
Oh yeah, yeah, the the Vine Sauce fellow played it, and I don't think he liked it, but that doesn't matter. <laughs> but, um, um, where was I? Uh, yeah, so I felt like, yeah, I, I really don't want to work on this anymore. And, uh, like in the last few months, uh, there's been these people in the, in the, <laughs> in like the bonkers comment section on itch.io and stuff. And, uh, they're like, so, so, uh, so Nanagon when, huh? And uh, I delete their comments. <laughs> it's pretty bad. Yeah, Na- Nanagon Infinity has become our white whale. It, yeah, it doesn't like make me angry or anything, but like it's just like it's irrelevant, <laughs> so I don't want it on there. And then they'll then they'll like go to some other game and they'll post like, so no reply on Nanagon Infinity, huh? Guess I'll blacklist Milkbar lads because we have, like, <laughs> we have <laughs> because a copy like, pasta uploaded... at this point. Yeah, they were like, I uploaded a video <laughs> of your game on your channel. And uh, now, now people are telling me wh- where's where's the game, huh? Where is it? Because I took the page for the game down because I wasn't working on it anymore. Um, <laughs> and and they were like, I guess I'll, I guess milk bar lads are blacklisted now. <laughs> and, uh, they they sent me these like five paragraph long like really angry messages. <laughs> <laughs> how, how upset they are that Nonagon Infinity is now is now null and void. Yeah, I, I, like I haven't worked on it in three years, and people are getting angry about it now. <laughs> <laughs> how long? How long have you been working on games for, Jack? Oh God. Um. Okay. Well, technically, I got I got Game Maker. Um. When I was like nine years old or something, and uh, <laughs> I made like re- I was I was stuck in a Ninja Muffin in uh, '99. You might have heard of him. <laughs> Like, like a few days ago. Yeah, I used to make these like really crappy like Pac-Man clones in Game Maker when I was like nine because uh, Game Maker actually came with like a little template project that was just Pac-Man, and uh, I would I would uh, copy that project and just uh, edit all the sprites to look like uh, I don't know like Mario or something, and I would show it to my dad and I'd be like, Dad, look, I'm a I'm a game maker. <laughs> He'd be like, I'm real proud. Of proud of you son <laughs> and then uh, <laughs> and like a year later i was like i want to make Mega Man 11 or whatever so i started i started like ripping Mega Man sprites um i was like 10 years old um and i was like wow wait i don't know how to program so i gave up and then like three years later i was like wait a second i do want to make games i got game maker again learn how to program this time so by this point i was like 13 um and I, I started making all these like crappy little MS Paint games I never shared with anybody. Nice. <laughs> and that, uh, started uh, making games with Major and the other guy. Is that the origins of Milk Bar Lads? You and Major finally got together, and started um, making games, or kind of. kind of? This was this 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 group had a different name though, and it will go nameless so nobody finds it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there was. Uh, long story short, there was some there was some genuine drama that we you know kind of split off for a little bit, but. Kind of a tender, tender topic. Yeah, I'm a major. I'm a major when I was like 12 or something, and I, I don't oh, know how. God, it, it really before. has been so long. Because oh, I remember back when. Uh, yeah, I think uh, Gellix mentioned it in the chat, but the Nazi Hunter game. You remember that? <laughs> oh yeah. The uh, the first the first level track for that was actually the first original song that I ever wrote was for that, oh, and it never I even got released or finished. Been. But like. Both of us kind of have our origins in the same place, which I think is kind of cool. Yeah, okay, we're, I, we're putting Nazis in that is the. I, I had I had like a big Wolfenstein phase when I was like thirteen because the new Wolfenstein game came out and I wanted to make a I wanted to make my own. <laughs> well, I want to kill Nazis. I want to yeah. kill Nazis. And that's a that's that's the humble beginning. Shooting Nazis in the face. Major made a bomb ass soundtrack to it. No, it was bad. (laughs) It was really bad. (laughs) So, Major, you decided you're going to do the music. Jack's like, I'm the programmer. So all you guys needed was an artist. I'm assuming the other person in this early group was an artist. And then eventually you guys went to Milk Bar Lads. And then you were the artist for that. Yeah, we kicked the old artist out. Um, (laughs) Not going to say why. uh, Because that might raise raise the age rating on the podcast. But, uh, uh, yeah, he's he's gone. Um, (laughs) And like a year later, forever. we got uh, we get, yeah, forever. We got forever. Ace and uh, Gal and Loud, I think, on board. Loud. Yeah, Loud. Yeah, he Loud. The, yeah. Loud. Loud's the guy who he did most of the enemy sprites uh, on Dead Estate. He, and also, also Bonkers and all the other games. I don't. I wasn't there yet, so I don't know what he. Yeah. Did. Yeah, because like the the core five from the previous couple games were like all from that older group. Okay, so the original group was uh, still a lot of people. It wasn't just you three. Yeah, still five people, yeah. 
Wow. Well, it, so, it was it was three. Then we kicked the artist out, and then we got three more artists on instead. Yeah, we were just we've all been friends for the past like five six years. Well, Jack, Jack except and for Major. me, I was newer. <laughs> yeah, you and you and Grobles, Stratomire, Grobles, yeah. Grobles. Yeah. Grobles. Yeah. So Jack and Major, you guys, you guys pretty much provide the the main core that anybody wants for a video game, which is programming and music. And then, of course, artists want to work on games. So you're opening that door for artists to just come in and, and work on stuff with you. And I think that's a very, yeah. very comfortable place to be at is being a good uh, programmer. And then music as well. I like yeah, that based. about you guys. Thank you. <laughs> well, I mean, I, I appreciate that you put it so eloquently, but more of what it was was just like, OK, uh, Jack, you know how to code. I know how to make music. Well, fuck, we don't have graphics. <laughs> we kind of need those. Yeah, uh, which one of our friends has a? <laughs> yeah, smart. which one of you has talent? <laughs> yeah, I, I think... You, 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 you want to, you want to work nonstop for two days? Yeah, do you, yeah. do you want to, do you want to be our yeah, unpaid intern making all of the graphics for our games? <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, uh, no, you, you don't have anything else going on, right? Yeah, come make art for like a, a straight <laughs> month. <laughs> that, is, that, is, that is kind of how it happened, though. Like what our I first mean, game exposure. Jam, our, our first game jam was like uh, the start of 2019, I think. Oh, yeah. That's not that about right. Ugly Mamba. Yeah, oh, oh, right. Mamba, Ugby yes. Mamba. We, and we made it in two days, and uh, yeah, you know, like like literally. Literally, like a day or two before the jam, uh, me and Ma it was me and Major, and we were like, we need a artist. It was like, hey Ace, hey Gal, hey Loudspeaker One Hundred, <laughs> do you wanna wanna help with this? He said yes. Uh, yeah, you, you know, you chose the right people. Part, they, they, yeah. they made the wrong decision saying yes. So. <laughs> and, uh, it's like now you're here forever. Yeah, I remember, Wait, when remember that? I start working on a uh, art for or like not start working, but I started brainstorming for like character designs. And I remember like I was sitting in the back of like my psychology class, and I was like, this is like, drawing these little designs. I was like, this is freaking Aww. awesome. <laughs> Yeah. 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 Making a video game. Yeah. yeah. This is the best day of my life. <laughs> that, that's how I felt making uh, bonkers. I was like, holy shit, I'm fucking working. Yeah. I made a video game, mom. Because well, I mean that's that's my biggest thing is, you know, it's it's been really cool to see how this whole thing has been progressing when it started. So, you know, I mean it's not exactly big, but the fact that it started is literally just three buddies messing around. And, and doing whatever because you know i don't know about uh everyone else's like backstory with all that but like making music for video games has always been like the thing that i've wanted to do so the fact that it's actually you know kind of starting to maybe go somewhere is really cool yeah you and jack found each other like yeah. <laughs> don't make it sound gay it's not gay yeah, it's gay. It is absolutely gay. like two molecules in open space just like colliding together you know big bang yeah <laughs> yeah, we're changing, yeah we're changing milk bar lands to open mouth kiss so why would you say that you're not supposed to announce that until like next month oh we shit. Did, yeah, we, did think, we did think about naming the game open mouth i mean naming the, the team open mouth kiss uh bar lads for a while so yeah so milky East. Milky Ace, oh, there's a lot of drama within a group of eight people, I can imagine. Milky Ace is no, good no, no. at drawing females. Stratemeyer, what are you good at drawing? What do you prefer to draw when it comes to video games? Uh, uh, last year, uh, actually, uh, I started learning how to do pixel art. I don't remember why I... Uh, oh, it was because I... No, 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 it was from 2018. I finished Lisa the Painful again. And I was oh. like, fuck. I fucking love Lisa the Painful. It's so good. Yeah, dude, that's my favorite fucking game ever. Uh, and I was like, fuck, I want to make a game. Uh, I'll just learn how to do pixel art. And then I, I pulled up some uh, tutorials by Mort Mort, which I sent to Ace, but she doesn't want to watch them. <laughs> 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 but <laughs> I, 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 I use those tutorials to, to learn how to do pixel art and animate in a sprite. Uh, pixel art was always like a, a thing I'd go back to every every once in a while because it is absolutely different from like sketching, inking, and uh, illustration, like uh, hand drawn animation. If I ever lost like one of my hands, I could just pull up a mouse and go 
pixel art. <laughs> so that was kind of also my motivation for learning. <laughs> I, was, I, I got so paranoid. I was like, shit, if, if, am I going to lose my hand one of these days? I shit, am I going to lose my hand? I don't know. Fall off. <laughs> oh, well, maybe. <laughs> you like, if I lose one hand, I'm all I right. Like, I got this. Maybe I, should, maybe I should get good at pixel art. And, uh, <laughs> Yeah, um, it worked out though. You ended up working on games because animation and pixel art. So literally, yeah, what yeah. you wanted, you got it. Yeah, so I, I was able to. Um, what's the what's the word when you when you put a, a sword on a whetstone and you sharpen it? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> You found your whole, 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 yeah. When no, when I I honed so my skills, skills. There you go. Yeah. Like right before bonkers. You put a sword on a whetstone. <laughs> I'm, I'm stupid. So, I'm really. Some stupid. people are like fancy <laughs> sports. That's how I hone a skill. You're like, ah, oh, you sharpen your sword. <laughs> <laughs> you sharpen your brain on a whetstone. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, sharpen right. your brain. I like that. I like that. No, so you just you just stick to females like Pixar. It's not a challenge for you. You just uh, well, I mean, I don't know how to do like like sprites. I just kind of I literally just draw how I normally draw with the pixel brush, and then I'm like, yeah, that's good enough. But I'm yeah. trying to hone my skills, sort of. I'm trying yeah. to get better. You want to put her brain on the whetstone, baby. Put your brain yeah. on the whetstone. Yeah, I know. I'm trying. I'm trying. I, I... It's not smooth enough yet. <laughs> what <laughs> the tutorials I send you? Oh. I know. He bought me. He bought me a sprite, so I'm gonna. Oh yeah, I did. <laughs> he did and, buy me a sprite. And you bought it for her. Wow. Yes, I know. The true, the true bro of the group, Stratemeyer. He's like, learn this. I swear to God. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll try to watch. Maybe one day. You should listen to this hypocrisy though. He'll buy Ace Ace, Ace Sprite for twenty dollars. He won't buy me the game maker thing for like fifteen thousand dollars. I don't get why not. <laughs> Dude, I don't <laughs> Aren't you rich Jack? You're making money from all these games, bro. What the hell? Well, I get I get I get, I get, split, I get split up between like you eight people. You get 100% of the cut. What the fuck? I haven't I gotten paid yet. That. We've known each other. We've worked together for five years. I haven't gotten a single check. <laughs> well, uh, that's a lie. That's a lie. That's a lie. That's a lie. I, I, actually, I actually haven't paid them yet for the uh, dead estate. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. I, wait, I, wait, I, need, I need to add something onto that so it doesn't sound bad. I'm still waiting for the money for Mitch.io. Yeah. Okay. So, you uh, to me. Yeah. And then when you guys, when you guys release the Steam version, you're gonna have to split the profits eight ways. So. Yeah. Hmm. So we're not making it big anytime soon, but it's fine. <laughs> that's okay though. <laughs> well, you know that. I mean, that's that's always an interesting question. But for me, like, I'm not really. I don't care how much money we make from it. I just love that we're doing it. You know. No, honestly, yeah. yes, oh, man, no. I, I I don't mind not making money. <laughs> For for that is it. I was like, oh yeah, shit, we're making money from it. Uh, it turns out, but um, shit, man, fucking animating that shit is fucking fun. I, I yeah, like I it's it's a nice bonus thing, but like you know, I'm just doing what I love doing, and the fact that it's getting attention is you know, I'm cool with that. Yeah, I mean, I I am mostly making games for the money. That's that's why. Oh yeah, YouTube. I know you're like. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. we should let, let's just ask Tom Falk to like the bitch. To, uh, <laughs> give the money motherfucker better. well yeah, yeah i mean like it'll it'll be nice to make money for it but like you know absolutely, absolutely. yeah, yeah it's, no, it's money, a big deal it's like you said humble origins just two a couple friends came together and wanted to make games and that's what it is yeah, yeah i mean I, i'm i'm happy yeah. just to, just to be able to put something out uh, speaking of money look. wait uh shout out shout out to newgrounds and tom because yeah shout, <laughs> shout out to Gave us first place. That's yeah, fucking Newgram, insane. So. Yeah, if you're, if you're I, hearing I bribe, this, Tom, I, I love them, you. Bro. I love your games. Yeah, Thank you for we, pointing us yeah, out. We, we love you so much. We, if he listened to us now, I bet like, uh, like halfway through this uh podcast, you're like, fucking. This He's like, oh god, why did I, why did I endorse these guys? What am I doing? <laughs> I, I, I do, I do, uh, I do he doesn't watch. listen to this show. Don't worry about fucking it. Yeah, he still hasn't accepted my friend request on Discord. So like. <laughs> That's the thing, though, because like when Bonkers dropped and he followed the team, I was like seeing that pop up on Newgrounds. Like Tom Fulp is now following you. It's like what? No, he's not. What are you talking about? What? That's yeah, all. Like the Nightmare Cops account followed me on Twitter, and I was like, what the hell? 
but, but you're my but you're my hero. You can't follow me. Yeah. <laughs> I know I know Shredemire from Newgrounds because of his uh Kevil the Japanese Devil. And Jack, you've only you you only have three games from Milk Bar Lads on Newgrounds. Where are the other games at, man? Where are they oh, at? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, man. Ridgewood Road. Ridgewood Road. Ridgewood Road. But uh, Newgrounds not good enough for my other games. <laughs> I actually I actually don't know why I didn't put Ridgewood up on Newgrounds, but most of uh, most of our games like aren't playable in browser. Ridgewood's the only one that isn't on Newgrounds that you can not play in the browser, so no, I actually don't know why I didn't put it up. It's such a good okay, game. Get it on there. Yeah. We, yeah, so we can just like it. retroactively put it on there and be like, hey, this is an older game, but you know, here you go. Yeah. yeah. No, absolutely yeah. we can do that. Yeah, I, I actually really, I really enjoyed working on Ridgewood because that was very different musically from anything else that we've done. I, I really like, all, all of our previous stuff has been like, oh, you know, you know, classic kind of retro video gamey sound, you know. But then, you know, it's like here's a horror thing, and it's got to have all this distorted like noise. It was a lot of fun to do. Um, before before we move away from everyone's like roles, let's talk about the people who aren't here. Who the hell is Jellox? <laughs> who? Why is he? Why is he yeah. here? Oh, okay, so uh, Jellox, aka Jellox, Jellox Bellox, which he wants you to call him that. Um, he, uh, I do not. He, basically, he he makes um whatever I throw at him really like <laughs> like he he's like the he's like the man on the sidelines, and I just tell him to do stuff, and he does it in case like nobody else is in case like I forget to put some I forget to put something on the dock, and like nobody's doing it. I, I'm just like Dell. Can you do? Can you he, do? He's this basically the 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 god of assets. Basically, he, he yeah, he like he, really yeah, he like all the furniture you see in a in a data state. He made all that. He made a couple yeah. of enemies. Um, the, the, the picture frames, yeah, yeah everything, all yeah, the bookshelves and everything. Yeah, all the, all the all the details that make make the make the rooms feel like rooms. He, he, yeah, he he made like eighty percent of the items. Also, um, wow. Yeah, you guys, you guys realize you're like on a highly professional level when you have like five different artists who have to mimic each other's style to like be a cohesive theme. Like that to me is brilliant. It's like a, a professional animation. It's interesting that you say studio. that because like it, it's such a weird perspective because looking at the game from the outside, like we can see that the final product turned out really, really nice and professional looking and everything, but from the inside looking out when we're working on it and even after it's finished it's yeah. just like you know it's just a thing we made it doesn't feel like that big of a deal yeah, if you saw crazy. the, you saw the depth and I, don't, you... I don't even i don't even mean that as like a humble brag it feels it, like it's genuinely like almost imposter syndrome like it's like why are, why yeah, is everyone right. giving this attention it's not that great Wait, stop staring at me <laughs> If you saw the dev chat, you'd think we're about, we're all like six years old or something. You probably do right yeah, now. Yeah, no, yeah, we we should post all the time. I uh, I keep posting my Kanye dancing gifts. Oh my god! Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'll go through the dev chat trying to look for shit like references that I posted in there that I didn't save on Clip Studio, and then I'll just see like a bunch of Kanye gifts, and I'm like, oh my god, you guys, please! I well, need like we we have a dev server. <laughs> that has separate chats, one for just general chat, one for shit posting, and then one for actual development. And the other two <laughs> never get used. All of the shit posting goes in the dev chat. It makes it very hard to follow. Yeah, I, I, I just looked yeah. in the dev chat, and the first thing I saw was like a picture of a monkey with a funny t shirt on. Like, <laughs> 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 nice. Wait. Oh, yeah. oh sorry, though. Those me. Oh. <laughs> that's the monkey. This... That's the monkey kicking the the soccer ball, and that's his victory pose. Oh my god, man! <laughs> Every time something actually productive happens in dev chat, I pin it just so I can find it later. <laughs> yeah, it's Every nice time, being on the outside yeah, because looking you're not in. there. Yeah, because I was oh, every shit. time Jack posted even like the smallest update, I was salivating over it. I'm like, dude, this is cool. Isometric room. It's just a little circle with these these squares in there. It looks like fun. Um, let's go over some other people who who haven't who aren't here today who couldn't be on because it'd be a clusterfuck. Um, loud and noisy. Shout out to loud and noisy. What they yeah, they make the sprites? Loud, they make the enemy loud, loud characters. Well, he he did a insane amount of stuff for the game. He made like. Probably like 80, 90 percent of the enemies, like all the sprites for them. Yeah. Uh, you know, and the bosses. I only made the really like ugly. Yeah. Horrifying yeah. ones. Str Stratemeyer and Gal did like a few. Um, like Stratemeyer did um, like on the third floor in the game. There's like these huge uh, Wait, let me like flesh monsters, with blonde hair and like weird faces. He he did those, and he did the sprites for chunks, which is like you know the main boss. 
Um, yeah. And Gal, he he did he did like one boss on the second floor, the egg thing. I don't know if anyone oh, remembers. That freak. Um, but yeah, the, and then Lau did literally all the other enemies and bosses, which is Lemmy. I made Lemmy. Yeah. Oh yeah, Lemmy. Yeah, that's another thing. <laughs> is Lemmy is Lemmy the dude that crawls around and jumps at you? Yes. Yes, it is. Yeah, it's based on, it's based on one of his shorts. Like, <laughs> that's yeah. cool. Honestly, um, though, yeah. Shout out to Loud, dude is a workhorse. Yeah, he's crazy. He he is so talented, and he's a hard worker too. And he's not even in the call. <laughs> Who are the well, OGs? I mean, and who are the we OGs? wanted to avoid it becoming a clusterfuck, uh, and we're the, already the, the, straddling the line there. I'm so. not even listening, I meant, but yeah. Yeah, the, uh, the, OGs, the OGs in the group are me, Major, uh, Ace, Gal, and Loud. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just, I'm temporary, yeah. honest. Yeah, he's, he's gonna be, we're getting rid of him pretty soon, so. <laughs> yeah, yeah I'm, I'm, I'm out. <laughs> uh, <laughs> producer buddy, spicy. see you later. <laughs> Spicy's also... Uh, also did the uh, the menu uh, art, the game over yeah. art. And Spicy also did the h- help me color the the intro because holy shit, that intro was a lot to do. <laughs> You're talking about the animation for the intro, right? Yeah, he did. He he, he did great. The intro was gonna have like 15 more scenes, and then like we were getting towards the end of the development, and I was like, Yeah, that's like a, holy shit, they're not gonna get done with this. I cut out like half of the thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. There were there was a lot more scenes originally, but I was I was telling Jack Yo. Yeah, yeah, no, I I was worried about you guys not finishing. While we're well, on the subject, I want to ask Jack: Were you the one who made the placeholder art for the first version of the intro? Yeah, yeah, I made all the yeah, placeholder. Okay, okay we need to make a game later where you just do all the art because that was amazing. Let's well, uh, <laughs> play play Chumbo Zone. That's a good. No, game. don't play Chumbo Zone. <laughs> Chumbo, Chumbo Zone is great. I've played it. Uh, yeah, Chumbo Zone, I made all the art and music for. I actually really liked the music for Chumbo Zone. You did a good job. Thank you. I don't know how to play keyboard, but I tried. And then, um, who is O Synapse? Is that just a voice oh, actor? Or... That's Aiko. That's Aiko. O Synapse, yeah. That's, that's Aiko. We call her Aiko. She, um, she, she did the voice. Yeah. yeah, she did the voice work of uh, The Witch and, and Jules, the hitchhiker in a, in a tube top. Hey, Ace, why is she in a tube top? That's why it. not? Actually. <laughs> Well, in the woods. <laughs> we were gonna give her like a Leon, like a Leon jacket, uh, but well, that, no. That, yeah, we, we 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 talked about it, but it didn't end up making. No, we fire. didn't. We did. We literally. No, we did. We, did. we did talk about it. I remember. It was probably yeah. buried in the gifts. <laughs> you got drowned out by Kanye again. Honestly. I'm sorry. Yeah. No, that's that's what happened. Kanye, Resident Kanye, Evil. Kanye, yeah. monkey, monkey gifts. And yeah, and, and Resident Evil, yeah. Monkey gifts. <laughs> so it's it's safe to say the future for Milk Bar Lads is more production on Dead Estate, and then hopefully more ideas of games coming out from your team, specifically yeah. you, Jack. I guess because it feels like you're the programmer. You have to make sure it's it's yeah. physically viable. And I know the next thing you were talking about working on was like a super. Bar- Wario World the f- fucking yeah, we, game okay, or something. Um, yeah, so uh, Stratemeyer and Nace and I and maybe Gal, I don't remember, we're in a voice chat. Stratemeyer was talking about his, we were talking about his uncle his name. So yeah. I, don't, I don't remember his name, but we all thought he said Tito. <laughs> yeah, no, because in Filipino, when you say uncle, it's Tito. So I was yeah. saying, oh yeah, my, I was talking to my uncle. I was like, oh yeah, Tito John. And then they, they thought I said pizza. <laughs> <laughs> and said thus, pizza, pizza John. John was born. Yeah, and I was like, wait, that sounds really funny. Let's make, let's make that a game. <laughs> I had like a whole design doc written. That is genuinely <laughs> how this shit started. I think I was unironically upset at first. Like, I was gone for like a day, and then I come back to the dev chat, and I just see this flood about Pizza John. And I'm like, what the yeah, fuck really is like, this? <laughs> Yeah, we're like, well, what happened to that estate? I'm like, no more that estate. Yeah, Pizza John. Oh, it's like, no, this no, other no, game no. that we've been working on for like a month and a half behind the scenes. Nah, scrap yeah. it. Yeah, here's a good question. Yeah. All right, you have nine completed games out for Milk Bar Lights. How many games have not come completed? Like, talk about average oh, Joe. All like, of them. Like, how do you know? How do you know when a game is not gonna be completed? What What about it? Do you learn that you don't like about it? Like, too much, too little, not good enough concept, like. Because once you start asking people for art, that starts becoming a bigger deal because people pour time into it. Honestly, for me, it's just like when I lose motivation working on it 
And uh, normally that happens when I don't set a deadline on something. Yeah, I, I found I found that when I don't have a like a deadline for release or anything, I'll like procrastinate a bunch, and then it will never get finished. But if I do set a deadline, like I did with Dead Estate, which was like we we have to be done with this by uh, Halloween, October thirty first. Or else uh, I'll kill myself, basically. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, he was he, he was pressuring all of us with, with life on. The- yeah, it was really uh, messed up. Yeah, so yeah, can cry. congratulations on the first place for uh, Spooktacular, oh, by yeah. the way. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Yeah, that's thank so you, crazy. Thank you, fucking Newgrounds. Fucking insane. Yeah, I remember when we wanted to do a deluxe version of uh, Ugby Mamba <laughs> after we worked on it. That was our first game that we, that we made all together. And we got really, really excited about it. I, I actually worked so long on uh, Ugly Mumba Deluxe, you know, which is our first game we finished for a jam. I, I worked for like like six months or something on it, and I was like, this is stupid. And then we threw it in the trash. <laughs> Next we game, were, we let's go. Uh, we were making games to advertise it. Like, Holy Smokes was one of those short games we, we made that was supposed to advertise uh, Ugly Mumba Deluxe, and then we just ended up not working on it. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, so here's here's a bunch of little games just to to whet your appetite, and then no, look at this big game that we're working on, and then like six months later we threw it away. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's gone. It's yeah, that's what it's, that's that why happens more often than you would think. Where it's like you know, because if your heart's not in it, then the end product isn't going to be great. So we're just like, all right, well, let's let's work on something else. I have entire yeah. finished uh, tracks like on my hard drive for stuff that just never went out. <laughs> But I mean, sometimes that can that can be useful because like the um, the boss theme for for Dead Estate ended up being like reused from an earlier project that didn't go anywhere. Oh yes, I have major so many all that all that design. all that content. Everybody, all that content. Patreon. Oh my god, I feel I feel bad because it's like a hundred percent my fault. Also, <laughs> nah, you're fine. <laughs> Yeah, no, it's yes, you're. All right, I have a, I have a good, I have an important question right now. How do you support Milk Bar Lads? Is it just by buying the supporter bundle? Or? Uh, yeah, yeah, you can yeah, just, and you know, just go on itch.io. Did, I'm not, is, I, it, I, is it Patreon still up, or did you put it? No, down? no, I hate, I hate to say it, but you have to go on itch.io to to buy the supporter bundle <laughs> if you want to support us. No, and that's we did, so, so what happened yeah. to the Patreon? I missed this. All oh, right, so we we yeah we had a Patreon and um. We only had like one patron on it, and I, I, w- I would update it like decently enough, but I, I realized that they weren't like looking at any of our posts anyways. And I felt I, I kind of felt bad because it's just like, oh, this, this person's paying like five dollars a month, and you know, well, I mean, I feel like now would definitely be a good time to try and get the ball uh, yeah. rolling on something yeah, like but, that. But also, I, also, I just like, I don't know, I feel like I, I have trouble like updating it frequently when yeah. we just start a project oh, or something. Yeah. We need a manager. <laughs> I, I feel bad like taking people's money when we're not putting much out. So it's like I would rather yeah, just I take uh, I would rather just take donations off of like our finished games than uh. Yeah, it makes go, sense. Uh, it's called Ko-Fi because yeah. we're like, let's Ko-Fi. Uh, that works for people. I think. Yeah, that does work. Actually, Patreon's a lot of work. You gotta update yeah, it yeah, constantly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Patreon's and like and a they whole, take like, way too Patreon. big a cut. Ever since, like, the newest, like, like, changes they made and everything. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they changed that. Patreon's kind of stinky now. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I'll check out the Newgrounds podcast, Patreon. Anyway. <laughs> and, uh, also oh, oh, oh Newgrounds. I see. Yeah, also, but we, uh, we, don't, we don't do anything but give shout-outs, which we haven't even done yet. <laughs> <laughs> the, the Newgrounds podcast. It's a scam. Is God bless. <laughs> give us your the money. Newgrounds. We'll do nothing in return. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Like thank you guys. Um, yeah, I don't know. We run we run a kind of a Patreon, and we're it's supposed to be funded back into the show. So if you guys <laughs> if you guys did a Patreon, I would even be sure how you would utilize that because when you come out the game, just do it like a deluxe version. Here you get the you get the music, you get the the special art that comes with it, all the concept art. Mm-hmm. Yeah, all my MS Paint art. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. The, the, all the placeholders. Yeah. You, oh, yeah. You uh, think you got I still placeholder. maintain we we have to release the placeholder version of that intro at some point. Oh no! Yeah, it's I, I so kinda, funny. I, I, I did kind of, except I censored one part of it. <laughs> I know yeah, what you part did. you censored. I, I, yeah, I, yeah. I think I know. Is it the hat? It, it, it was. Yeah, it was with the hat. Yes. It was the hat. <laughs> the hat, the hat yeah. Yeah. Wow. Uh, yeah, Jack showed yeah, me uh, that video. It was awesome. Oh yeah, I put oh, the unedited God. version of here so it has it has the whole MAGA hat and everything in it. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't want Jeff in the MAGA hat. 
I'm sorry. So Jim. we're just gonna we're just gonna say Newgrounds has been really inviting to your guys's team. I know Jack, you recently yeah. put NG in your Twitter handle, whatever the fuck you know that means, but people do that. I, I don't know what it means honestly. I just saw other people doing it. <laughs> it stands for Newgrounds, Jack. Well, what is that? <laughs> I'll kill you. Okay. I'll kill you. <laughs> Sorry. So thank you guys for uh, coming oh. on to the show, talking about the Milk Bar Lads, the the nine projects you guys have under Milk Bar Lads, and the probably like 20 that have ended up in the waste bin at some point. <laughs> yeah. uh, Milk Bar Lads, oh. they were great under pressure. Major will finish a whole soundtrack to an entire video game within three days. I'm so <laughs> tired. It's just <laughs> muted right now. <laughs> Stratemeyer will make art for it as long as you talk about Kanye and Resident Evil to get him drawn into the group. Milky Ace, yeah. she'll deal with the titties and the sex appeal. She's oh, yeah. literally the sex appeal section of the bureau <laughs> of the office. So thank you guys so much for coming on here. If you want to support Dead Estate or the Milk Bar Lads in general, please buy their supporter bundle on itch.io. I bought it personally. It comes with a lot of cool little facts. Like, did you know the sexy shop lady was almost an old witch? You know, no tits, just sagging. You wouldn't want that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, now you can learn about that. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. In the, oh, in no, the future, okay. the future for Dead Estate is pretty large. They got a production team or a, produ- a producer through through Tom Fulp on Newgrounds. So keep an eye out for Milk Bar Lads. I like, I like these guys a lot. And Jack, serious big shout out to you for updating us in the Newgrounds podcast server. Uh, every like almost every step of the way w- when it was coming out, I got to see this game be produced over two months, and I- I've literally never been so excited to see it come out. And I- I've beat it at least twenty times. Yeah, the <laughs> Thank server's you guys. cool. It's like one of the only servers I would post it in where people would actually respond when I post it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I try to be active in it. It's hard, you know. I got a day job and shit, you know. <laughs> yeah. Well, but it's just the, cool. the reception with Newgrounds and and that whole crowd has been so much more. Uh, responsive than anyone else, so it's it's been really cool to see. Also, uh, Stratemeyer says he's server muted right now because he accidentally disconnected. <laughs> well, I guess we gotta leave oh. leave on that note. <laughs> oh no, he's back! He's back. He's back. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Hey. <laughs> yeah. 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 Right, Jeez, I'm Zin Zin. That was Cycle Goldfish. That was Milk Bar Lads, and that was Dead Estate. Go fucking play if you haven't already. Thank you for listening to the Newgrounds podcast. This show is recorded live on our Discord server. Join us at bit.ly slash NGP Discord. For the latest news, follow us on Twitter at the NG Podcast. Thank you to Waterflame for the use of his song, Gabberfly. Goodbye.